Hey guys, what's up? Marty here from Nintendo Dads, and today we are going to show you some of 13AM's brand new game, Double Cross, for the Nintendo Switch. This game is awesome, and I am so excited to get to show you the first part of it. Imagine if Shantae and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney had a baby. That is this game. Art style is fantastic. The sound is amazing. The controls are great. There's some great uh, Mega Man style platforming uh, and powering up and all kinds of things that you can do in this game. And so I'm just really sold on it. I love the art style. I love the character design uh, here, right here at the, at the front in the white and the blue. You see Zara, who is our main character. And in the back, you see um, Suspect X, kind of looking a little bit like Sigma from the Mega Man X games. Uh, I've got a dinosaur over here. This game is about dimensional travel. And so there are some varied and um, different places that you can go. So it's pretty neat. Uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. We're going to pick up here um, in the middle of, of the game. I'm going to show you a level. Um, I've, ar I've obviously progressed a little bit in the game because uh, we got a review copy from 13 a.m. And uh, so my next little um, deal here is that I need to go in this portal where I can go to one of three different places and uh, see what's going on. So you can go to Gootopia, which I've already completed the first three stages of. You can go to the F Thunderdome which uh, I can go back to Tomikia Palace, or I can go to Reptaria and go to Bone Crackle Canyon, and I think that's where I'm going to go. You start the game with the ability to punch. You also start the game with the ability to use uh, like a plasma little like um, whip, which allows you to, um, you know, latch onto points and fling yourself um, and so here is like your little in-ear guy, Skip and Zara. They're having a conversation. As you can see, this is really Shantae-esque here, uh, especially even in just the art style presentation and things. And so we are going to stop the caravan. Um, you jump with B. You punch with Y. Uh, X also does some different attacks, like a, a more powerful attack, but it also does like... You've got a diving kick and a slide. And in the air, you've got a like a jump kick. Now we're going to use the little uh, plasma thing here. You do that by ZR. Uh, unfortunately, it does not affect enemies. Though I imagine that later on it might. And it can be kind of tricky. Like I said, kind of tricky. She can grab edges. And she can grab projectiles that are thrown at her like this. Try that again. And throw them back. It's always a fun little, little thing there. See what happens when I do that. Gets me across a little bit easier. And the shield that is around Zara is an upgrade that you can buy later on. The diving kick, the sliding kick, all those upgrades that you can buy later on. Um, by using points that you gain during levels. Uh, these little red Grab points are pieces of junk. <laughs> All right, let's see if we could do this this time. Oh, 
like I said, there is a little bit of tricky platforming here. And there was a, um, that purple stone was what you actually used to upgrade Zara. You could find a, a good number of them in the levels. If you're skilled enough. So I am going to get that one. Maybe continue on here. All right, looks like we're through that section. Thank goodness. The, uh, the plasma sling is a lot of fun. That mechanic is fun, but it also is um, can be tricky to master in some ways. All right, we have a wave of enemies here. Looks like three waves. You can see I got hit and my shield went away. Eventually it will come back. Combat is, is pretty simple. But you can, you know, put together combos and different things like that for larger enemies. Uh, I've been playing this game, I would say I'm about two to three hours in this game. Have not fought a boss yet. So, you also have a dodge roll that is done with ZL. And that allows you to dodge roll through Sonic the Hedgehog there. I'd actually like to beat you. The other element to the game is being able to use powers with the A button. And I have those here um, right under my life bar in the top left. You'll see that there's a plus sign, which is for healing. There's also a fireball. There's also another power that is like, a, I'm actually not sure what that is. Um, you could go in here and look at your case log. I thought I might be able to, to look at that. But if I hold down the A button, I will use a healing and one of those will go down. If I press A and left or right, or the R button, I'm sorry, I'll shoot a fireball. It's actually very powerful. So it's worth using on those bigger enemies. But now we've used it up. That doesn't look good up there. I bet I have to grab those and throw them. Yep. Oh. There you go. Oh, that wasn't good. But, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Poor little dino. They're so cute. You almost hate to beat them up. But, I mean... Oh. Oh, I guess I have to let it. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, it's going to blow that up. I guess I just wasn't throwing it last time. Heal myself a little bit there. Take the checkpoint. Hit him with the fireball.
If there was a secret up there, I missed it. Here we go. Two rounds of enemies. And I will say that this game does this type of fight more than I would like to, to see. It seems to lean on the wave example of enemies. Of fighting enemies. I, I'm not just a huge fan of it. You'll find it in almost every area. A little bit of freeform sling in there. I guess I could have come in from the top. Oh, we can't hesitate here. This game can get very tricky at some places. Uh, I was going to say, I might be in a place where I'm stuck. Interesting. There we go. Another enemy wave. Yay. This should be pretty telling that we're getting toward the end of the level. In fact, this might be at the end of the level. Not sure. Abstract art for the case log. And what you'll do is you'll go take these things from the case log and you will go and show them to people around headquarters and they will provide you different clues and things uh, to help you build your case that you will eventually submit and hopefully capture Suspect X. Well, that's a lot of things to grab. Learning as we go. We gotta move here because those cars go into the back. I bet that I'm gonna have to have one of these. Ooh. Gotta keep moving. And really what this is, is uh, this is just a bonus for one of those pieces of the purple upgrade stone.
it's healed. Just a little bit. All right. There we go. We've only gotten two of those in this whole... There, and some of them are very well hidden. So, again, a lot like the Shantae games. And I'm not necessarily, in, in comparing this to Shantae, saying that it's a bad thing, that it's like Shantae. I, I love the Shantae games. Um, I think that they're fantastic. Uh, and this, this just feels like a, a little different take on them and their formula and and there is there's a there's a formula you know lots of metroidvania backtracking and thing you can do in that game and in this game you can go revisit the levels find the things you missed you'll have different abilities different powers all kinds of things like that so like i'm saying i'm not saying it's a bad thing um So we're going to tamper with spark plugs after we defeat. Oh. After we defeat a bunch of enemies. That's edge. Oh, well, apparently I have. Just a very limited time to get out. Nice. Okay, gotta throw it over the boxes here. In a wide enough arc that it won't bounce. Off, and then go take care of the spark plug. And get out in time as well. timed fighting here. Does that reset my timer? No. Interesting. Here we go. Got to get off of here and get out. Is that going to be the end of the level? No. That's one thing too to expect from this game is levels are Pretty large. Lots of secrets to find. Other stuff to uncover. routes to explore so it's really not a disappointing game at all I really really like this game actually and I you know if you're looking for a new platform experience with a new twist on platforming 
then I think this game is for you. If you are a fan of Shantae, if you're a fan of, um, you know, games where uh, Metroidvania style games, I think this this could be one for you as well. Um, I don't. I, I think it might be easy to to overlook this game because it's not Runbow. Uh, however, I think the uh, the art style and things are going to draw people in, and it's going to be it's going to be a good thing. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping that 3 a.m. or 13 a.m. games has uh, good success with this, and maybe it's the birth of a franchise. You know, you got to start somewhere. Fight these waves off. here and let that one blow up and that's going to be the end of the level right there and so at the end you'll get a little bit of a uh, progress you'll get to see uh, you know did you level up did you unlock some new things did you get something for your case log I can activate heavy hitter in the terminal now I can uh, get better healing uh, there's a stomp so that's all unlocked at level six uh, and I'll head back to the uh, to the um, you know rift office there and and do that and continue on in the game guys this has been double cross i hope you've enjoyed it i hope that it's something that you uh look forward to it is a fantastic game it's highly recommended if a little bit repetitive at times uh, but if you're looking for metroidvania platforming on the switch with something brand new then this game is for you guys i'm marty for nintendo dads keep it locked right over here on our youtube channel for all of our news reviews previews all that great stuff and check out our podcast on all podcast services and devices every friday uh for the rest of the guys at nintendo dads i hope you have a great day thanks for watching Bye bye